Delta 1 1 to base. We're making our final approach. Carrie Stetco, please call calm at 282. This is United States Marshal Carrie Stetco, over. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. Whiteout is in theaters. This is a thriller with Kate Beckinsale as a U.S. Marshal who only works in locales where there's a lot of fluffy white powder. Her last job was in Miami. This time she's tracking the series of murders near a U.S. research station in Antarctica in negative 60 degree weather. These murders are somehow tied in with the crash of a Russian airplane in 1957. There's some sort of mystery about what exactly uh, these Russians were carrying on that plane and why all these people are getting murdered. Uh, as a mystery, I think this movie is uh, more a wipeout or a washout than anything else. Uh, Kate Beckinsale spends the movie finding tiny little clues and then explaining what they mean to the audience. This is really more like being read a bedtime story than seeing a mystery unfold in front of you. <laughs> The action scenes are, if anything, even worse. Uh, the there's a couple of big action scenes where they're filmed uh, in, in blizzards and whiteout conditions, which means, guess what, you can't really see what's happening. Everyone's wearing parkas and their faces are all bundled up, so you can't really, you can't really tell who is who. Uh, I found the movie totally boring. The payoff in the end, the big twist, is really uh, uh, totally unexciting. So I think Whiteout really is a, a disastrous movie. I, I can't see it lasting very long in theaters, uh, nor is it worth your 10 or 12 bucks to go see it. I'm giving it half a star out of four. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. Oh.